guys, thank you for watching. In today's video, I will show you how I achieve my standard brow using just three products. So if you are interested in seeing how I get this type of brow, then please keep watching. So the first step in any brows is you've got to brush out the hairs just to make sure that everything is laying in the direction that you really want it to be going. Oh, sorry. <gasps> what am I doing? So you're going to brush them all out like that. Now, I originally oh, <laughs> had really thin eyebrows just because I had overplucked them in the past and I had shaved off the end of them. And I still do have hair all the way through, but they don't really thicken up whatsoever. And primarily on the front of my brow is where I'm lacking. So I do have my eyebrows microbladed. If you do live in the Denver metro area, then I'm going to link her Instagram down below. You should definitely check her out. Amazing, amazing. So the first product I'm going to use after brushing out my brows is my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow. I will link all of the products that I use down below. And I use the shade Ebony. And so the first thing that I always do is I line the underside of my brow. And as you can see, kind of right underneath the arch, that's kind of where, right here, it starts getting a little thin. So I still keep it in alignment with the front of the brow, just to give it a little bit additional thickness. And then I'm going to follow the arch of my brow and just bring that down. And I always do like to typically bring my eyebrows down a little bit farther if it was a more dramatic look, I would probably do that, but today, since I'm just kind of wearing some natural makeup, I'm not going to really make them too, too dramatic, so I'm going to also go in. This is another key, key change in my eyebrow routine that I think is contributing to how much nicer my eyebrows look now, so this brush is amazing. So I'm also going to go along the top of my eyebrow. And then just connect those two lines right there. And then in the front, that's where I usually like to just kind of draw some fake hairs. Just to kind of give the impression of some additional hairs in that front. And I'm going to get a little bit more product on my brush. And then I'm just going to draw that all through my brow. And I can kind of go along the edges where I had originally drawn in the line and I can pull that product up just to kind of blend that into the hairs so I really shouldn't need to dip back into that product again. Now this brow pomade I really really like it as opposed to a brow pencil just because the lasting power is better and it does have a more opaque color. So if you are interested in more of the dramatic type brows or the more cut out type brows, then I think that this is a good product for you to try. There are a lot of different kinds of brow products, but I think that the Anastasia Beverly Hills really did an amazing job with their eyebrow products. So that's pretty much all I need to do in terms of filling in the brow. So now what I do is I'm going to go in and just kind of carve out my eyebrow. And I always love to use Derma Blend. This is the cover cream. I had before used the leg and body cover and that concealer was just as amazing. It's a really, really thick concealer and I mean, I think, not sure if it was originally designed to cover tattoos, but that's essentially kind of their promo as far as they can do full body coverage for tattoos and so when carving out my eyebrows, it works amazing to just keep everything in place and keep the pigmentation where I want it. And another thing is I use a really stiff brush 
and that'll help to just get my lines really crisp and even. So I'm just going to get a little bit of that concealer on my brush and I'm just going to go all along the bottom edge. Oh! See, that happens. We're just going to go in and clean that up. Concealed it a little too much. I'm just going to kind of correct that a little bit. That's where my brush is, you know. And just like that. And then I'm going to go in with that same brush and just kind of pull the concealer down so it blends out. And I usually like to do my eyebrows prior to doing any sort of eye makeup just so I don't take away from any product that I might have on my eyes, but um, I don't really use a ton of concealer anyway, so then when blending it down it doesn't really come too far onto my eye. Whereas I've seen where sometimes people will carve out their eyebrow and just really add a ton of concealer. and to each their own. I don't really have very big eyebrows to begin with, so I don't really need to be adding too, too much like that. Same thing, I'm just going to gather a little bit of concealer on my brush. That's really where I feel like you need to have a steady hand is on that upper part on your brow because, man, that was actually like one of the first times I actually got a clean line all the way across because normally I'm like, <laughs> I'm giving myself unintentionally frowny eyebrows and it's just something that comes with the process. So as you can see, I can drag it out relatively far to really get that concealer all blended out and the idea is to make it look as though you don't have concealer around your eyebrows. So we're all done with the concealer and then the very last step I actually just used this product for the first time today and I love it but it is the Benefit Gimme Brow and I'll have to see exactly what color it is, but look, it's this tiny, tiny little brush. What I've always used it in the past was just mascara over top of my eyebrows, but I tried this for the first time today and it is amazing. So I'm just going to take that little brush and just drag it all through my eyebrow hairs. And this is another reason why I like to do... Typically, I, I will set my eyebrows at the very end of my makeup so that if I do have any powder that's applied to my face, none of it gets stuck in this type of product. And so this is just like the final step for your eyebrows and it pulls everything together. This would be a really good product to use if you just want to add a little bit of additional volume in your eyebrows because it will just add a little bit of extra definition to the hairs and I'm just going to bring these ones up just a little bit just to kind of make them look more fluffy towards the front but I'll have to try this as a natural brow look and see how it does given that I do have the microbladed eyebrows just to kind of see how everything looks but that is how I do my eyebrows each and every day, unless I am not wearing any makeup, in which case I'll just go with the uh, or the amount of color that the microblading will provide for me. But otherwise, it's how I do my eyebrows every day. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and I look forward to seeing you guys with my next video. Bye.